Hello and welcome back. This is Theodore 000. <clears throat> I'm gonna continue on the game dev series. Hopefully, I don't go broke again. Um. So I'm gonna do some more contract work because I don't think that's enough. Because we do eighteen thousand dollars every month. <clears throat> and that guy, little Theodore 000, you better not scratch your head, bro. Excellent, we will transfer 18,000 to your account. Yay! Okay, I'm gonna... Generate game report. Get some more research. <clears throat> oh, 8,000. I thought it was 18 for some reason. Meh. Okay. So, <clears throat> RPG... Artificial intelligence is not that good. Got it. What should this be? Let's do hunting. Action. G64. Street. Hunter. Street Hunter. I know I misspelled that. Uh, uh, engine go up, story go a little down. Gameplay all the way up, man. You you want best gameplay, right? No, that's weird. Artificial intelligence up a little bit. Level design. I keep that up. Dialogues down. So, oh. Today, new game platform test has been released. I just noticed. I broke again. World design actually is pretty important. Graphics. Sound. Right about there looks good. Oh, wow. We're, we're really in the hole. Go ahead and pump it out. I don't even care right now, just finish it up. Good judgment, create a game. Oh, that's nice. Contract work. I'm gonna do that. <clears throat> I need contract work right now. Five! Wow. Fourth game. Okay. It, it does. Aha! Uh -huh. It always shows potential. When it not. When in doubt, just give it a 10. Okay, 16,000. And we're making money again. Contract? Nah. I'm gonna do some research. Dungeon. I have an idea for dungeon. It's a good one at that. Don't judge. Street Hunter has sold a company sales record with over 10,000 units sold. This is an important milestone for the history of Biolabs. So Street Hunter sounds like a good one to do. I'm going to develop a game. D and D. If you don't know what D and D is, what have you done with your life? Actually, I guess D and D is more like an RPG. Text space. So D and D is Dungeons and Dragons. If you don't know what it is, which if you don't, you failed at life. So story is very important in it, and it's. Tons of fun. I know I sound like a nerd right now. I'll generate a game before. Oh. Okay. I don't care about you. Artificial intelligence. That up a little bit. Level. This right here is all very important to D&D. <laughs> I 
I sound like such a nerd. <gasps> I got fans. I wonder what they look like. Hmm. Well, I guess actually this isn't very important because it's a text space. I wonder what the fans look like. Hmm. Are they like ceiling fans? Maybe ground fans? Street Hunter is off the market. It sold 15,628 units, generating 109,433 in sales. Man, I cannot speak today. Fix all them bugs. Ooh, this is good. I like this already. <clears throat> Release. Generate game report. Laugh hard. First reviews for D&D &D came in. Better be good. Have seen better if you have not. Six dungeon and RPG is a great combination. Of course, it shows potential. Is that flickering eight? Oh, I got a seven. It's a great game, all games. <clears throat> okay, well, that's good. Laugh hard. Terrible combination. Comedy and simulation. Simulation bleh. Not good. Artificial intelligence, very important. Platform, okay. Contract work, anything? Sure. I just need a bunch of money right now. I don't feel comfortable with this. Because what I'm going to do... <clears throat> oh, that would be the clock. Recently, the recently released Tess Home Console by Nintendo has proven it to be a massive su success. Sales never exceeded expectations by far. One customer says, I love the games that come with the test, and playing with a controller is so much more fun than on a keyboard. Mm hmm. No, I failed! Well, I'm gonna do some research and custom game engines. Here I come. Ah, look at that. Fans by the mini. So if you don't know what fans are, <clears throat> they give you hype, which means that you make more money on the first two weeks of sale. <clears throat> and, okay, nice, I've successfully re- No, I don't want you. Game tutorials and sound. Now these are where it costs a lot to do some stuff. Develop new game. So, what fans do, is they yeah I'm gonna do it it's a good thing in the long run <clears throat> but fans they always buy your game unless it's a bad game and you lose fans and you know that you're not gonna make as much zombie outbreak zombie outbreak seems good enough 2D text. 2D text. I'm going to do text. I still don't feel comfortable. Oh, very much not comfortable. Engine. Gameplay, story. Okay. I know I burnt through some money, but it's a good thing in the long haul because if it's a huge success, lots of people play it. The indie is now off the market. It's never off the market. It sold 16,744 units, generating... Woo! That's a lot of money. I'm starting to make good games now. Artificial intelligence zombies are not that smart. I want to kill people, not, not go and talk to them. Whoever wants to do that. Okay, I'm back in the hole. My last one was much better than this. Graphics... I guess it is text space bleh. I want sounds galore. Just all the sounds of rah, rah, rah. No, no, don't make another one. Recent studies suggest that increasing variety of game 
gaming devices also creates a market for more specialized games. Some platforms become more popular with younger gamers, while others crater, uh, for the, cater for the more mature groups. As more and more developers enter the market, we expect developers to focus their games on a specific age group to really make an impact. Nice target audience. I like that. Let's send this out. Don't forget creating custom engine. This will improve your games a lot. You can create custom engine. Okay. I know I can create a custom engine. <coughs> but for right now, I have nothing to put in it. Okay. So now I need some. No, 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 no. I don't want a custom engine yet. I want contract work. Uh, that voice cracked though. Game review. So the reviews came in. Six. Seven. Zombie and action is a great combination. Seven. Beautiful. It's text based, so I don't see how it's beautiful. Good game. Okay. Seven. Enjoyable. Come on. Come on. Come on. You can do this. In the following maximum success of the test control console, there are now rumors circulating that Vinda, another Japanese company, is planning to release a home gaming console of their own. Hmm. Now Vinda, coming from experience, uh, would hire. Okay. Vinda, coming from experience. <coughs> oh, that's exactly what we want right here, where it goes up a week. Because that means that people love it and are fan, and we collected a bunch of fans this week. But basically, what Vinda is is from experience, they have more mature uh, audiences, which means, uh, which means basically, yeah, I'll do this, uh, zombie horrors and that sort of stuff are more prevalent. Prison zombie hacking, that sort of stuff. Okay, we have successfully researched target audience. No, I don't want you. Don't want you. Okay, so what should I do? I'll do alternate history. RPG, not actually simulation. This one seems to be better. I'll do mature, live, or die. Again, if you love this, please <clears throat> uh, give me comments on uh, how it is. Uh, if you want a game to be named after something that you want, tell me, okay? I'll actually do it. Trust me, I will. Saivinda has confirmed recent rumors about new gaming consoles announced. The Master V company has claimed the Master V is technologically superior to the successful test by Nintendo and plans to release it in the upcoming months. Hmm. Zombie outbreak is all. The market? That's a lot of money. This is probably the fastest gameplay I've played yet, and I've been broke. Lots of time. Uh, bring that down. Bring that down. Add down just a little bit. <coughs> World design sound. I'm going to bring the sound down. <coughs> now I know it is text based, but yeah. Video and creepy. Hi, I'm Steve O'Connell. Reporter from Planet GG, we've heard rumors that your company is developing a game for a mature audience. Yeah, I'll give it an interview. Okay, let's see how this is doing. So, Planet GG has recently published an interview with Biolabs. According to the interview, the company... Oh, it's almost over, sorry. Let me read this. It's working on a first game target audience, mature players. Theodore 000, the owner of. Okay, read it yourself. Pause right now. I cannot do this. See you later. Subscribe if you haven't already. Like the video.